Hello ladies and gents, welcome to CG Reaction. This is Elden Ring Review, Dark Souls 4, Dung Eater Edison Trademark by the channel Sets in Tech. I miss April Fools, this is not satire, this is real life. This is a big surprise, not just because it's a new Seth video, but Seth is reacting to, uh, Seth, sorry, Seth is reviewing a uh, major game, right? That's not Seth's thing, right? Seth uh, usually reviews about games that is like, you know, has some dust on it, some cobwebs here and there, right? Yeah, which is a great gem of a game, but uh, nobody, most people not know about it. But after Seth's video, everybody realized that it's a great game, like, you know, Dwarf Fortress, PlayStation 13, Factorio, things like that. Right, uh, lots of great game that you know. I'm pretty sure it's not that famous compared to major AAA games. Became somewhat famous because of Seth, right? So endless space and things like that. So this is a surprise because Elden Ring is a major famous AAA game, right? From uh, from software, right? The Dark Souls people, and it's it, Elden Ring was released, I guess, what a few months ago at best. And it's also surprised that Seth is gonna review it this fast. This tells me that Seth probably has been playing Elden Ring since the day it launched and has been playing it for hours and hours every day for him to make video this fast. But yeah, this is new Seth video. It's gonna be fun. Let's watch it. Hey, hey, people. Seth here. The following is highly experimental and may come off as disjointed or schizophrenic. I don't care. Elden Ring, the newest hot release by Hideo Miyazaki of Ghibli Studios, famous for classic animations such as Howl's Moving Mausoleum and My Invader Totoro from software have really outdone themselves, as this game features not one, but two crustaceans, possibly even more. Unfortunately, I haven't unlocked the ability to swim, so I cannot confirm or deny that. The game begins, and I make my character. <laughs> His name? Some boo boo. His class, naturally, is wretched. I did originally consider prisoner, but I chose not to. I take the key as my starting item and live to regret it after I get immediate access to a side dungeon and get run over repeatedly by a speeding train. I chose instead to go the other way. After camping a few times, Melina comes by and offers me an accord. I turn it down because I think it's funny. I then proceed to kill Morgoth and Godric before I realize I haven't leveled up. How was I supposed to know I had to say yes? Miyazaki, just because I'm offered the ability to talk to a woman doesn't mean I'm going to take it. I think that's a symptom of bad design. Conversely, I fell for the oldest trick in a book, a warm and bright. Oh, okay, so C comes and give you an accord. That's just basically your leveling up uh, your system, is that it? It's like, no, I just walk away. <laughs> ...of a woman's lap, only to find out a hundred hours later, it's actually a debuff. What did they mean by this? I guess I'll have to consult a 40-minute lore video to figure out the true symbology behind this item description. I tell you, passive storytelling at its very best, especially when half the characters either disappear, die, or start T-posing during your playthrough. This might bother people, <laughs> people who believe there's a story, which is the equivalent of finding a bunch of random notes and thinking to yourself, damn, that book was wild. Halo's plot is crazy. Have you not read all the secret terminals? On the bright side, Dark Souls lore channels now have a steady source of bread for the next four years. I assure you, you'll know- Oh, what? Two million, two and a half million, two million. All those videos in just what a month old, eight days. Which channel is this? All these lore videos has millions of views. That is surprising. Those lore channels now have a steady source of bread for the next four years. Yeah. I assure you, you'll know every side character better than your own family. I don't remember which war Granddad was fighting, but I do know Patches. I know that, canonically, he is circumcised. Honestly, I don't judge. I still get to have my wife, Ronnie. What I'm criticizing is the involvement of this fat fuck. Celebrated offer. Helping to weave the narrative experience? Okay, let's, let's see what this dude wrote. Sunset found her squatting in the grass, groaning. Every stool was looser than the one before and smelled fouler. By the time the moon came up, she was shitting brown water. The more she drank, the more she shat. But the more she shat, the thirstier she grew. And her first sent her crawling to the stream to suck up more water. I rest my case. J.R.R. Martin is the greatest author who has ever lived. He has also <laughs> never finished his books. Based. And so, fittingly, From Software has embodied the spirit of J.R.R. Martin by uh, never finishing a single quest line. Elven Ring is an ambitious platformer. And if you disagree, you haven't played the game. Because half I'm this game, game is jumping, jumping with a head start, or falling falling into a hole, into a canyon, into the place you originally wanted to, but accidentally jumped before doing so, adding an extra foot to the height of your fall, which turned it into a lethal descent. There's nothing I love more than jumping awkwardly off rooftops, but uh, 
How do we spice it up? Archers. You love archers. They're on every route. Yeah, actually, I'm not gonna lie. This whole mechanic might feel a bit home to me because I don't, I don't remember the names of the games. But I played a lot of games when I was a kid, right? And around this time, obviously, technology wasn't that great. That jumping mechanic mechanism wasn't that great. So when you jump, yeah, I mean, you have to feel the game's mechanics, right? If you, you, if you want to be good at it. And I was so competitive that, you know, certain games that jumps are not a real, you know, proper thing. But the weird mechanic, I always, you know, get used to it in a way that I can just, you know, do that in my sleep. So I remember, you know, weirdly jumping on obstacles, just aiming it just right. Weirdly jumping from balcony to balcony where you're not supposed to do it. But I guess you can do it, why the fuck not? So even though this feels weird, I, you know, I might get used to it. <laughs> and they've got tracking. And guess what? The sewer levels are back. And this time, they're essential to the oh. plot. Yeah, I'm thinking game of the year. Calling the mountain your game, Torrent. Absolute genius. So anybody Googling Elden Ring Torrent gets a bunch of horse pictures instead. I can't wait until Elden Whoa. Ring 2 features the popular and beloved character, Codex De Nuvo Pre-Cracked No Virus. But uh, why are we here? Oh, dude. Oh, wait, I, I gotta take another screenshot. <laughs> we're here for the difficulty because we're hardcore gamers. Uh, take it from me. I've already beaten the final boss, John Elden Ring, so I can give a few pointers. Have you ever used a weapon, armor, fast travel, potions, or opened the world map? I'm sorry to say, but uh, you're playing the game wrong. This game is meant to be played level one as a wretch using a single club. No upgrades. If you disagree, I'll call you a casual. If you ever hear someone talking like this, Take pity on them, because this behavior is characteristic of someone who stacks no paper and gets no bitches. This game isn't hard, not because it's not hard, but because video games fundamentally aren't hard. You know what's hard? The circumstances of life, getting a degree, <laughs> having a stable family, being born with a baby arm. You're born and one arm develops normally into an adult arm, but the other is this stunted mini child arm, which uh, stops growing at like three years of age, so you're this freakish monstrosity. You'll be known around town as Baby Arm Man, and the only job you'll ever have is Baby Arm Stock Photo, because it's harder for them to get a kid to pose for that. It's a lot more convenient to have a malformed monstrosity on standby. Furthermore, I genuinely believe- How the fuck Seth can do that? This is ridiculous, right? <laughs> Seth being a gamer himself. I mean, the biggest thing about all these Elden Ring from software games is that how hard those are, right? This Elden Ring is, Elden Ring's bosses are one of the hardest ever. I'm pretty sure I've seen certain videos about certain bosses that says it's even harder than all the Dark Souls and all the games there is, right? The hardest boss is this and that. You know, this game is hard. If you play it this way and don't cheat this and that, this is one of the hardest games. Seth just basically heard that and just created a whole sentence in, in his head. Like, games are not hard, real life is hard. Shut the fuck up, just slaps all the gamers down. <laughs> believe that pattern recognition is a form of cheating. Your homo sapiens brain is literally destroying the difficulty of the experience by compensatory adaptation. I hope that people consider this in the future and later learn to recognize that the truest From Software experience would be a lobotomite run, where prior to playing, we perform a frontal lobotomy and sever your prefrontal <laughs> cortex. Sometimes the only option you have to preserve the purity of your experience is brain damage. Multiplayer yeah. enhances the experience. Sometimes you'll see white phantoms briefly appear. These are players from other worlds going through their own journey. Once I saw a white phantom appear, teabagging a dead NPC. In this moment, I knew I was playing a masterpiece. Messages and appraisal are exactly how Reddit users believe karma works. You upvote and you get actual physical nourishment from the karma. Oh look, a message on the floor. Maybe someone out there will tell me something useful. Then you open it and read it, only to see dog butthole, closely followed by <laughs> Fortnite. According to a true story, once upon a time, Miyazaki's car broke down in the middle of a road. This was during winter, so no help was to be found, when suddenly three strangers appeared out of nowhere, sucked him off, and left without even saying a word. And that's how Miyazaki got the inspiration for Souls multiplayer gameplay. Flawless, <laughs> stunning, <Very> effervescent. <laughs> Just like Bloodborne was a complex allegory for sexually transmitted HIV, Elden Rang is a rich synesthesia between seeing Swampland and remembering Blighttown or hearing Leyendale long after you've left the capital because my ears are still ringing from the sound of those fucking trumpets. Actual real critique, no jokes, no giggles. I think every boss should have a stake of America outside the boss room. Generally, this is true 
but sometimes I gotta walk. And traditionally, I do not consider cardio as part of a boss fight. Now, the walks are more generous than any other Souls game, but just because somebody chose to take a smaller shit in my rice doesn't change the fact that it's still there. Inside yeah. my bowl, <laughs> steaming up my Tupperware. Still I would also annoying. have originally said that the death screen is quite long, but then I realized it's working as intended. You see, when you die in PvP, you have no option but to watch helplessly as someone spams point down and repeatedly defiles your dead body. My complaints are pretty mild. If, like me, you didn't realize Vigor has a non-linear scaling, it would have helped immensely to know that going 10 to 20 makes no tangible difference, but 20 to 40 is all the difference between taking a blow and getting one-tapped by most of the game. I uh. wish I knew that at the start. Luckily, this game is very generous with its ability to reroll your character. If you're still paranoid, you can back up your save at no risk. I've done this more than a hundred times without issue and recommend you do the same because despite what anybody says, there's a million ways. Okay, all the things I've heard about Elden Ring, right? I mean, I, nobody has said anything bad with some criticism here and there, but lots of people say that certain design uh, features that developers, you know, went through, I guess, compared to the other games is kind of questionable here and there. And to me, it always feels like it's different. Not much of bugs or annoyance. It's like it's different. It creates a unique experience so far, right? Uh, and also, the like mechanics, he said, like it's not linear, right? I mean, obviously, how would you know that? Or, if, you know, if you play the game and realize this is the thing, it just gives you that unique experience, right? Like this is also something you need to account for from going forward. It's a, it feels like a feature rather than bug to break your save. I've done it. I can reproduce it. It's still there. Also, easy anti-cheat is a very good anti-cheat because it's very easy to turn off. My friend may have done exactly <laughs> that and more. Tell me, <laughs> Seth, was he punished? Is he banned? No, some of the later fights have interesting hitboxes. Not like I care. I cheesed through that shit. This game makes you realize the greatest companion you'll ever have is yourself. So why not make a copy? Lore. Before continuing, we have to stop and talk about the best character in the game. Dung Eater. Loathsome. Dung Eater. Ferocious. Feaster of feces. Devious. Doo doo devourer. Dung Eater. Consumes excrement. Feces. Shit. Even. Nihilistic. And with a wicked sense of humor, his greatest desire is to eat the poo poo. And of course, murder you and defile your dead body. I think there's a lot we can learn from Dung Eater. But as a society, we're not yet ready for that conversation. Builds. There's many builds. Strength is terrible until you realize you can power stance through the entire game and block everything else with barricade shield for zero stamina. Going strength, unfortunately, puts you at the highest risk group for naming yourself the Black Swordsman and cosplaying as your favorite slice of life anime. If I see you doing this, I'll summon you intentionally so I can kick you for my world. Dexterity. Do you enjoy katanas? How about double katanas? Each one long Longer than the last, using realistic, historically accurate sword techniques from feudal era Japan. What about epic PvP compilations? Say no more. Get a river of blood today. Intelligence. Some would say a great deal of their enjoyment comes from learning the move set of every boss. A rhythmic dance between sword, swipe, and parry. A lethal symphony silenced only by death. <laughs> Others would disagree. I'm confident that if you ask any player running sorcery, what's their favorite boss? They'll recoil in surprise and say, I don't know any. I just sit at the back and spam Azure Comet. Faith incantations are very good. Abusing the animation of Catch Flame to cast them instantaneously is even better. And before you say it, I know it's working exactly as intended. You know what else is intended? This. Also, this and this. My greatest enjoyment of this game, beyond the exploration, the richness of the graphics, and the scale of the world they made, has been abusing every mechanic I possibly can before it gets patched out. And so, inevitably, I have taken to abusing other players. You might call them humans. I call them people who use Moonveil unironically. And thus, I feel no remorse for any of my actions. In okay. Obviously, I mean, every From Software games, right? As for... Okay, I'm pretty sure I remember Dark Souls 2 and Dark Souls 3 having issues because people are talking about it. Dark Souls 1, I remember, I don't exactly pinpoint what the problem was, but it was also somewhat buggy here and there. So, you know, games being not foolproof is not surprising. I mean, patches will resolve all the issues. But up until that point, just use it as a feature, like I said, right? I mean, just use the exploits. If you if you can figure out the exploits and actually use it, it will feel some somewhat, you know, like you accomplished something, right? Like you learn some mechanic and now just using it at your, at your advantage. That's fun too. 
summary, Elven Ring attracts many different responses. Some fillet the long shaft of FromSoft endlessly. Others hate it because of their own incompetence. Walking manifestations of a Dunning-Kruger effect, these people believe that failure is not their own and somehow inflicted upon them by the universe. You can't be bad at video games, as video games are merely a subject matter. No, that is a deficit in your cognitive ability, something that likely plagues you in every aspect of your life. In summary, if you're bad at video games, you're bad at life. You've got a smooth brain and a low IQ. Your fate <laughs> is to be a grunt in the New World Order. And then there's others, like me, who are quietly waking up to the fact that maybe we should have never dropped those bombs to begin with. I guess what I'm trying to say is Elden Scrolls, 10 out of 10, garbage. I love it. As always, more content to come, so stay tuned. If you're this interested fast? in some merchant multiplayer, password Fug Hunt goes in all fields. First 50 to invade get a 15% off their first month of FugHunters.com, the official sponsor of this video. And now, allow me to conclude this presentation with some calming visuals. Rest assured, most of the things seen here can no longer be afflicted on another human being. A warm thanks to the men Many members of a merchant's guild generously funding and uh, this is the Elden Ring is fun right everybody basically just praises it like how good of a game it is especially bosses that like, how hard it is compared to the other Dark Souls or even Bloodborne type of games right and having the new having be, you know the newer engine mechanics right the, as an open world style game it's a it's a really blend of things that just works i guess all the bugs and things here and there is probably going to get passed out in the future so overall this is really a great game right probably contender for the game of the year or whatever i guess we'll see okay i'm not going to skip these credits because everybody just complains that i skip credits of seth video and they always have something in it so let's watch it bankrolling these videos you're all truly wonderful have a good one uh, uh, yeah. okay get out of here with that shit man yo you don't know me and you don't know i'm going through so fuck you and your lame ass point of view that should have been my whole mission from the start you putting it together i tear it all apart what gotta get smile stepping through this minefield and what's not mine becomes mine you mind that's the way i gotta take it from the mans put a price up on the fans i put let up in the stand it doesn't matter who the target is you know i'm gonna finish it once i get it started kid that's the way i gotta market it mark out say you down to hell from the clap of, of what this all about man. yeah okay i don't think this has anything but just you know fighting right so just playing the game all right so there are so many uh, you know members of the merchants guild that it's going to take like four minutes just to roll credits even at this speed but yeah Overall, I mean, this was a surprising video, like I said, Seth uh, reviewing game this fast and game like Elden Ring, right? Not some underrated game, but no, already the most, one of the most famous games right now. But yeah, that just tells me that Seth was playing Elden Ring, you know, left and right since the day, you know, it was launched. I don't know why I'm not still playing this game. I really should check it out, man. I haven't played a Dark Souls type game since the original Dark Souls. So yeah, it might be fun. So yeah. Right, people, that was Elden Ring Review, Dark Souls 4, Dung Eater Edition by the channel Sensen Tech. If you like my Dixon, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment if you want to react to a specific video, and yeah, I'll see you next time.